their tactics going to be? Because we didn't have a chance to chat with them before he went live to the set. So uh, I'm going to assume with two PS9 missile carriers, he wants to paint the target and just evaporate it off the board and then deal with whatever's left with the ships that he has left. Now, the draw their fire is an interesting upgrade to put on the quick draw because it does keep your quick draw at PS9 with your backdraft, giving you that option, but it also allows you to uh, proc your ability when you otherwise might not be get taking damage from uh, the field. So it's really a really interesting option to allow quick draw to decide when it wants to proc its ability. And we'll see if that comes into play this uh, game. If I'm, if I'm remembering the kind of way he plays, he's going to obviously want to take that huge middle of the board space that he's been offered on the left of the board. So he's going to bring those ships up, and he's going to dive them in, and he's just going to probably merc something that he's given. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes up and does, like, you know, two or three three or f yeah, two or two three forwards to get around that big giant rock, and then just go straight and take that all that space that he's got there. Um, he, again, he's got extensive experience flying swarms, so it's going to be a fun match to watch. Rush Hour is a beautiful monster. This is version 3. Yeah. Version 1 was five, 5 Bombers Tactician. Yeah. yeah. We still, we're still, people are still getting uh, questions about it, but it's uh, it's a really brutal list. Those mm -hmm. auto blasters are going to really come into play versus the, uh, mm -hmm. the SFs. So but some people in the chat are feeling like, based on firepower alone, they're favoring the double harpoon tie SFs. If he can get those splashes off... So I've just come back from talking to the players who've okay. been trying to do this. Yep. So Garrett said he... So I've asked him about the, the rocks, yep. right? Because both of these players really had a clear idea about what they were doing with the obstacles, uh, right? Garrett placed three in his corner, right? To, he said to get him out of the way. Okay. And then Christian places them at the two and twos because he's flying that big chunky swarm. It's yes. not like a tie swarm. I can put a tie swarm through anything. Yeah. Right? Christian can put a tie swarm through anything. Yes. Right? But there, it's a less maneuverable. Type with with the bombers, you yeah. need those big lanes. Yeah. So Christian said he's going to try and control the middle of the board. He's okay. going to go up fast. He's going to bank in. He's going to try and use the one forwards avail available to him on those bombers and those yeah. aggressors yeah. to slow roll. Watch where Garrett's going. Garrett's going to definitely try and. He said he's really going to try and rely on those harpoon splashes, right? Christian's. He said his plan was to tease out those harpoons early mm -hmm. where he can return fire with all of his ships. Okay. So he, Christian's looking to, on the engagement, right, he's looking to, on the engagement where Garrett's firing a harpoon, he wants all five of his ships shooting. So he's going to make Garrett pay for firing a harpoon, essentially. That's that's his plan. Okay, so and, and control the middle, which is what I said earlier I thought he was going to try to do, because there's such an open space in that middle, that's naturally where the swarm can be so difficult and dangerous when you give it that much space to that's maneuver. Especially Not having to break like it up. Especially at a very... As you, you hit on something very early on, interesting, that's very interesting, that doesn't get said very often. This is a swarm that can go one forward. And that is very, very interesting. One forward barrel roll, that's not what you see all the time in a traditional tie swarm. It's yeah. a slow swarm. It's yeah. almost more like a rebel swarm. It's pr it's very tanky. Yeah. It's got those bombers. The, the It's a very chunky swarm. The Sinars don't have a uh, lightweight frame, mm -hmm. so they go down a little a little faster yeah. than you might be used to. But with the auto blaster unguided rocket combo, they, are, they do a lot of damage. Yeah, absolutely. So, so it looks like Christian has painted um, Backdraft early on for the target from his long-range scanner. And he's using our uh, Season 10 target lock tokens. Very yeah. beautiful. He's also using our custom PTL uh, templates. Maneuver, maneuver templates. Our, our uh, beautiful templates. My boy, Suntir Fell. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the uh, interceptor there on the blue templates. Those are blue for the blue from our logo. So I think we're going to see Garrett come around, and Christian sort of predicted this was going to happen, that he's either going to hide behind the rocks, and he was an engage between the three in the bottom of bottom left of the map and the one in the top, mm -hmm. right, in that gap there, or he's going to engage on the right-hand side of that cluster, right? So Christian's fairly, by the way that Garrett has deployed his obstacles, mm -hmm. Christian's been able to have a very good idea of where he expects Garrett to be, mm -hmm. and he's going to force the engagement into the open space in the middle, and hopefully making Garrett pay for that. So you're thinking that he's looking just for a straight-up joust? Because that... I mean, he's going to throw out eight dice in that situation. And Christian is absolutely going to joust. Well, jo Christian's absolutely a joust. That's the hallmark of what Rush Hour does. It jousts and it burns shit down. But do you think Garrett's looking for the same option? No. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think that Garrett's going to joust. It seemed when I was talking to him that he felt 
almost that he couldn't not joust. He's got a jousty list. He's got the harpoon missiles. Mm-hmm. He's got a megaliter. Like that's what his list. His list is built to alpha something down. Exactly. But how do you alpha this list down? That's the thing. You can't. Right? You can alpha something one ship down, and then you're out of missiles, and he still has five ship, four ships left. It's almost like you've got a harpoon, two ships, onto the bombers. Get those conditions on, mm-hmm. right? And then, hopefully, brawl or uh, can you know get those conditions off later in the game when you can start killing ships with it. Right. Right. So say those uh, conditions actually to help you, and when you lose a ship, you can hurt your own ship. Uh, exactly. Right. And you don't want backdraft to be in there triggering those conditions because mm-hmm. he's going to start doing damage. I'm sure, as as you know. You know, harpoons can oftentimes just do as much damage to you as to your enemy. Yeah, so right now I'm actually running more damage to myself than my opponents with harpoons when I run them. Maybe that's just how good I am, but I mean, I think I've done 50% more damage to myself than my opponents. Sounds like you should switch to cruise. Well, I like to be in range one of all time, so that's exactly what ends up happening. But yeah, yeah, it sounds like I should still switch to cruise. So as somebody who's both got tons of reps in with with rush hour and reps against it, if if you're Garrett... Who do you want to? Who do you want to focus down first in this version of Rush Hour? The operations specialist is the heart of the list. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the original Rush Hour was five tactician bombers mm-hmm. with Darth Vader and two operations specialists, mm-hmm. and that was rough mm-hmm. in the Atani meta for the Atani players. Yes, it was. As somebody who tried playing Atani fan against it, mind link fan against it, it was it was terrifying. I penta stressed a Miranda once. Mm-hmm. Highlight, highlight of the of of uh, the store champ season. Nice. So. Absolutely, the operations specialist is generating those focuses for the unguided rockets so mm-hmm. you can shoot them, for the auto blaster turrets. Right? It's allowing him to 5K and get those focuses Which off. Which is huge. So Garrett's coming in. It looks like he is going to bait into the joust and just hope that he can get those harpoons off. And I, I just I don't think that's uh, a good choice. It's, But it's one that it's not a bad choice. Mm-hmm. Right, he's going to be able to get in, get some two really hyper accurate harpoon missiles off. Yes, absolutely. Right, get some serious damage in there onto bombers, and then abuse that later with backdraft and with quick draw, and maybe get some serious, serious damage into the ships. Yeah, I think we'll see a barrel roll here. I think to uh, make space for his uh, for his quick draw to come in. Or are we going to have uh, backdraft. backdraft? Backdraft cut through the uh, yeah, cut through the, the rocks. Too. That could be a thing he could do as well. Split them up so there's less for him to focus on. So, I mean, Christian's just going to keep slow rolling. He's probably going to do another one one bank. One and two. Or he might one, two, three bank all of his ships. So Mm -hmm. number two does a one, four does a two, one does a three bank. And he'll end up lined up sort of uh, range five back from the crease in the middle of the table. To completely dominate the entire center of the board. Absolutely. And then he'll be able to one forward, one forward. Yeah, just Zamboni down across the whole thing and just, just melt everything. Just sweep Garrett up. Oh no, he's he's slow rolling, so he's playing a little cautiously. That's probably the right uh, the right choice given how just front loaded and aggressive Christian's being, mm-hmm. right? So it's also interesting too if Garrett can find a way to have Christian break up his swarm, he could start to really open up and maximize the potential of the Thai SFs and the titles. Now he's got two of them with two arcs. That's potentially four attacks around just from two of his ships. In the perfect situation, he's running the same amount of ships as, as Christian is as far as attacks go. So, And they're all at higher PSs, so it's really interesting if he can get them in there and get them to open up the swarm. That would be really cool if he can if he can figure that out. I would like to see I mean, him I try. Yeah, I, like, I, I don't like, think like, Christian's, Christian, gonna Christian's not going to do that. Yeah. So, And we've got the cruise missile guy in the back, right? Yes. So the cruise missile guy can also – he's not going to be able to, to three bank next turn because four and one – four is going to do a two bank probably, mm-hmm. right? But what it does is oftentimes with Christian, what you'll see is he'll 5K the bomber with the crews on the second or third round of engagement, right? Yeah. And that'll put him behind your enemy ship, behind his enemy's ships at range three yeah. with a five die cruise missile. Yeah. He gets to keep that. He lights up the ships with one of his other bombers, misses, whiffs, all of a sudden. His 5 k bomber has focused target lock 5 die cruise missile. Mm-hmm. It can be pretty, pretty dark. Absolutely. Especially with, as you were saying, with the op spec, it, doesn't om- it almost doesn't... It's almost impossible to block. You're missing anyway. You got mm-hmm. a 2 die attack. It's probably not doing anything. You may as well get something out of it. That's where Operation Specialist come in, yeah. comes in. 
Being, being, able to, being able to generate a target lock focus for your auto blaster turret is pretty awesome too. So if he 5Ks with his three bombers, mm -hmm. he misses with two of them. He's generating focuses for cruise missile. He's generating the focuses for a Sinar specialist who may have barrel rolled to block. The mm -hmm. other one can get a focus. Absolutely. So he's got these actions that he can be assigning in the combat phase, right, to, to really sort of increase the action economy and, and feed what's going on. Now, here we're seeing Christian come in. He's probably going to do the one, two, three banks. Yep. I'm really interested to see what we get from Garrett, whether he comes in and forms up a line and these guys just come straight at each other because I mean, that's going to be nuts. Yeah, sorry for cutting you off there. He could just he could take his entire fleet ship right and try to come around the mini mustache rock as a bait to draw Christian's forces out. If he does that and barrel rolls them all in, then Christian's going to have to decide which way he's going. I don't know, but I mean, I think at this point, though, it looks like we're almost... Guaranteed getting ahead a heads up face off. Hey, it looks like we're gonna have a good old fashioned next swing. I think where I point my ships at yours, you point your ships at mine. We take focus, we roll some dice, and something you know what? Up. I think that's what might actually happen. I like a boxing match where they punch each other in the face, Absolutely. and that's what we're gonna get today. I hope so, and that could be really great to see. Oh, well, look at that not beauty! That, and it's actually not even necessarily that a bad call for Gary, too. Like, as you were saying, he's gonna get two cruises off, and if he takes any damage on his quick try, he gets yet another attack. That's still three attacks before Christian's fired once, so or after he's fired once, and that's yep. still pretty amazing. Because if he gets lucky enough, they attack one bank draft. from the back ship. Look how wide yes. those arcs are now. That's a huge net that he cast. Right. So how much control does Christian have? His yeah. his range three forward. He can controls from one rock. All he controls the whole center of the board. Look how wide that is. Look how much game space and board space he is can put dice on you also gotta see how much board space tactician he's got control of now he's got he's got almost the entire middle of the board covered in stress if you fly within that and if he slow rolls next turn it's gonna be very difficult for garrett to not get stressed exactly so he's got tacticians on number four and number three mm -hmm. which are spaced out to cover their that's, overlapping that's a that's a huge yes huge uh space yeah So we've got people in chat saying we're cutting out constantly. Sorry, guys. Uh, we're trying to work with the internet we've got. Hopefully, we're, we're looking into the issue, and hopefully it'll be solved uh, pretty quickly. But uh, this is really interesting. Garrett's spreading out his ships. I like it. So uh, whoa. he's constantly barrel rolling with a Mega Leader, and that's great. So we're keeping him range control and keeping him uh, out of arc, right, you know, away from all the female? ships. Her, All the best I mean, Imperial pilots are girls. Look, uh, I can't disagree. Women <laughs> can take more G-forces than men. Absolutely. Yeah, scientifically, it's a good idea. The mighty Howl Runner. So this is going to be really interesting because next turn, Christian is probably just going to one forward all his dudes. Yep. But then knowing that and assuming that, do you think Garrett just says, all right, I'm going to come at you. I'm going to three forward slam everybody into your face too? Uh, that... Then he, gets, be, then he gets range one shots with all of his ships. But he doesn't get harpoons. He doesn't get harpoons, yeah. So he's going to have the one forward next turn, too. Next yeah. turn's going to be a bloodbath. He's probably going to two in an ed, two, two forward all the ships. Maybe one forward with the SFs, two forward with Omega Leader. Mm. Yeah, because at Oli, she can't go slower than two. Yeah. He could one bank her out or three bank her out of the fight and try to get her in behind and harass somebody. <laughs> I think he wants to pull a target lock with her and start bothering somebody. Sure, but who? Yeah, there's no real good target. That's the thing. That, that's what makes Rush Hour a really interesting list. Is that no other there, than losing Opspec? There's a target. It's Opspec. Yeah. And then you kill whoever. You, like Opspec takes the heart of the list. That's why the original version had two. Yeah, because because you needed the redundancy, and the redundancy isn't in this list, and it takes a lot more f uh, tighter flying As we to saying, get off. Yeah. And <laughs> it looks like Christian decided to go super fast. Interesting. Well. Oh, for the cruise. He's hoping to get the cruise off this turn, I think. Oh, maybe he's going to get the cruise off, but also he's going to prevent Garrett from, using from, his harpoons. from getting his harpoons. Brilliant call. Because Garrett has to do at least a one forward. At least a two forward with Omega Leader. Yeah, but Omega Leader doesn't have harpoons, though. But he can do ones with, with the SFs, so it'll certainly be interesting. Well, to be fair, though, I still think he'll be able to use harpoons on the back bombers. Here's a trick that Christian's doing. So what he's done... Yeah. Okay, is he's moved the aggressor with a three bank. Yeah. Okay. So what he's done is he's blocking the cruise missile bomber further back. Oh, interesting. What? 
Because the cruise missile bomber's already gone. That's number five. Oh, is it five? Oh, okay. The cruise missile bomber's ready. It's prime with the five days cruise missile ready. Oh, my bad. I thought the number four was the cruise missile. Because what, often what he'll do is he'll dial in a four or five and bump it and then cascade it back. And he'll only do a one or a two forward. Mm. And uh, with the long range scanner target lock and a op spec focus, he'll light you up. So actually no, if he if he did do one forwards, if Garrett did do one forwards with his tie SFs, we're seeing harpoons this round. Yeah, he's gonna paint the target, and if indeed that uh, lead bomber bomber number three is the op spec bomber, you're gonna see you might not see it next turn. Yeah, Oli's just locked it. <sighs> he locked the op spec bomber, or he locked he locked number three. Yeah, okay. Yeah, one forward. Umbral Dancer, that's actually a really good point you said. You're feeling like uh, Christian's maneuvering here was setting up his K-turns where he's going to be able to K-turn everything and have all of his arcs back again on the rest of the fleet. That that might very well be one of the things he was thinking as well. It's, it's a good point. Uh, uh, with, a, with a list like this, you constantly have to be thinking about where the 5K on the bomber is going to take you. It's that's really how you get back in the mat. Yeah. Uh, in the match, right? Uh, in this, he's going to be able to cover so much space, right? Mm-hmm. With those five Ks, the issue here, right, is number five and number three are probably going to be blocked by a quick draw and backdraft. He's not going to be able to actually five K them this round, or yeah. or not this round, next round, right? So, sorry, it's still cutting in and out, guys. We're not really sure what's going on. Uh, we'll definitely have to check uh, all the cables before before the next match. Interesting. I missed who that target locked because the target lock sort of went in. It. I would imagine everybody's going to be on number three. Everyone on number three? If that's the op spec one, if Garrett's called it, that's where he locked his uh, Omega Leader, that's probably where it's going to be. That's really interesting. I mean, that's... That's exactly the call you said that he should yeah, make, though. Yeah, he needs... Oh, uh, and he's... Garrett, what are you doing? A focus target. Focus. He just focused with quick draw. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I guess assuming he's going to pull target lock when he fires. Now, just off the top of my head, I'm not 100% sure to remember because I've never fly. Quick draw's ability only is on primary, correct? Or any attack? Well, let's pull it up just to be double. Okay. Just well, to check. Looks like Backdraft is throwing out a. Uh, oh, sorry, Quick draw is throwing out a harpoon missile. Oh, that makes more sense now. I think I understand what's going on. So that's a bunch of damage that's come out. I think he just ranged one the aggressor, to be honest. No, no, he threw Harpoon Missile. There's a Harpoon Missile card on the table. Is that not Backdraft? That's who he's firing with right now. Okay. It's Quick Draw. That's who he's firing with right now, number one. Oh, sorry. I had them backwards. Yeah. My apologies. Yeah. So he's Harpooned. Yeah. Oh, boy. Major Hull Breach? Might be. He didn't leave them there long enough. I think that's a dead bomber, Smeet. If he takes uh, all that damage. I'm going to go uh, check what... Uh, so that looks like hit crit focus. This is quick draw. No, this is backdraft. Yeah. Yeah. Who will then pull a target lock off of the shot when he pulls a focus token. Garrett, don't. Spends it for three. Why are you saying no? You don't want to see damage go through? Ooh, two evade. That's huge. Takes one. Takes one. I mean, he's not dead. He's not dead at all. Okay, I'm going to go find out how much damage that, that scimitar took. It looked like it was three, but we'll reconfirm. It looked like it was a hit and two crits. All right, so now Omega Leader still has a turn to go, it looks like. And she's only got range two on the bomber. She's got target locked. So we're just uh, flashing up right now the crits that the uh, bomber took. 
It was thrust control fire and major hull breach. And that bomber's only got three damage. So he took a harpoon and two shots and got... Well, this is the... This the is Omega Leader shot. Omega Leader can't kill it. Yeah. Number three. Number three is at half hull. And that's the one with op spec? That's the one with op spec. But it, it has to live to, through the next combat phase, which is going to be difficult for, for Christian to pull off, for sure. Well, yes. Well, we'll see. Here comes the start of the... Oh, it's Omega Leader... Did she spend her target lock? Oh, she re-rolled for damage. Interesting. Evade. I think I think Garrett's just really trying to get that bomber off the field as fast as possible, hence why he spent the target lock. But we're going to see... And then the juke is going to make oh. the damage go through anyways. Yeah. And... Hit crit. Yeah. Uh, we missed what the crit was, Christian, but... Uh, they didn't say. It's down to one hit on that scimitar, so he's got to play really cagey with him. Right, but that was a very interesting. That was a very effective call for Garrett. They decided to spend the target lock on his Omega Leader, got that extra damage through. It's huge. Backdraft is going to eat a uh, five die cruise missile, so we'll have to see. Yeah, uh, and if one of those is a crit, then draw their fire will proc, and then Christian will lose his bomber because Quick Draw has got target locks primed on that one as well. With the draw their fire. You know, but as we were saying earlier, this is. I mean, the joust. It. it the, Garrett's got a mean... Garrett wasn't feeling good about the joust, but he wasn't didn't he? feel like he had... But he didn't feel like he had a choice. Right? And he may come out ahead on this. Like, yeah. that's certainly a possibility. Don't forget, it does look like... I think Christian might be able to put the entirety of his list firepower into one ship. All right, so he's shooting backdraft with whom? Structural damage. That's not great. I'm not sure who he's shooting with. One hit from the front aggressor. Yeah. So. Unguided rockets, I guess? Nope. Or no. Uh, probably auto blaster. He only rolled two dice. So backdraft takes the one hit. Yeah. Okay. Now he's checking the rear. It looks like he's checking the rear bomber. Well, bomber number four. Maybe a range three, I think, on backdraft. Christian doesn't want it to be, but it is. Yeah, he wanted up the range too for sure. Yeah. So uh, he's going to assign a focus to the cruise missile bomber because he missed. Well, he just missed now. Yeah. So this Here is a, comes. For those of us asking, this is how Boop. operation specialists there we go. work. He, um, Christian missed one of his attacker, and it doesn't have to be the ship that attacked. It's any ship within range one to three of your ship that attacked gets to get the focus token. So now he's got a target lock focus on his bomber. Operation specialist attacking backdraft. Backdraft is now stressed because yeah. of tactician. And two hits. Backdraft could go down here. So Garrett rolling two dice. And then lightweight frame. Garrett. Uh, no, he only rolled the, the oh. tie SF has two to begin with. Oh, right. Yes. You only roll enough. frames if you roll the attacker rolls more attack dice than you. So backdraft is shieldless. Mm -hmm. And here and comes the cruise. On a shieldless backdraft. Now he did a four dice. forward. Oh, yeah, you can he, you can hear the dice from here. We're yeah. very far away. Okay, he's gonna spend target uh, lock and then focus for five. Yep. Yeah, that'll be five hits. Five hits on backdraft. Mm -hmm. Now Garrett gets uh, gets three on defense, but with no focus, that's that's it for backdraft. Not necessarily. We'll see. He got one evade. And the second of eight, so he's only going to take three and still dies. Right. Yeah, he's only going to take three. I'm and just he's only got three hull. There was potential he could yeah. have survived had he that, rolled three. Uh, yeah, had he, you know, natties. Yeah. The and dream. unfortunately for Garrett, no um, no crits to proc uh, uh, Quick Draw's ability. Yeah. Quick Draw did lose a shield, so Quick Draw must have fired twice. Um, they all took one damage. I'm not sure why. Okay. Sorry, guys. We might have missed uh, an interaction there. We didn't see. Quick did did Garrett attack. just forget to put his shields in? <laughs> All right, so now we've got auto blast. We've got uh, unguided uh, rockets. Oh, no, well, he's got no focus on that ship, so it'll be manual. Yeah. From uh, oh yeah, from number one. Yeah. Sure. We'll take the free damage. Is that yeah, on a megaliter? It's on a megaliter. So oh, me forcing her to spend her focus vey token is always oh, fun. That's nice. Oh. Yeah. That's a that's a role you don't expect to see. And now Christian's gonna be able to put his ships 
anywhere he wants. Yes. And Garrett's going to get no actions next turn. There's Garrett, just going to be a stack of bumping. So here's what's going to come the, the fear of anybody flying against a swarm is now where can I put my ships where I'm not going to get blocked? And in this situation, there's You're not. almost no, if Krishna wants to block you, he's going to block you. Backdraft is toast. Yeah. We've got Quick Draw. Quick Draw's got a, you know, but the op spec guy is almost dead. Yes. Right? That's not a great trade, but we've got probably some harpoon conditions on there. And uh, I think you're right. I think I think Christian's going to have to bail with his op spec, though. Because if it, when it blows up, I don't think he wants to give away one free damage to all the rest of his ships. That's the engagement Christian wanted. And now draw their fire is, I mean, Useless. he only had hits. It was only hits. That was really rough. Yeah, draw their fire is a very, if not an if I mean, upgrade, it's a situationally, it's sometimes it's amazing. But if it doesn't go your way, you've used, is it one point or two? Two. Oh, is it one? I don't know. I, I Either forget. way, you can have a crack shot for the same <laughs> price. You can have VI for the same price. You can have VI a lot of other upgrades definitely. that are really great on quick draw for the same price. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is going to be an uphill battle for quick draw. But he can get in there, do some double damage, mm -hmm. right? Uh, draw their fire is, in fact, one point. Um, he can get in there, do a one forward, you know, hope it doesn't bump he can k turn hope he can start getting some of that multiple shots off with quick draw make it really worthwhile there we've got full health on quick draw full health on a mega leader you know if he can draw a quick draw can draw out that damage mm -hmm. like if he can make it one damage each time he gets one damage around yeah if i mean if somehow some way quick draw gets to use its, its ability three times in a row like all three times that's amazing yeah but, interesting to see, he didn't have frames. And as you can see, frames he's, don't really he, help you against a barrage of attacks. He's got chips. Mm -hmm. You know, he's gone all in on the harpoon missiles. He gets one shot. You know, it's, uh... <sighs> well, it did do a boatload of damage to that bomber. Well, actually, no, it only did three, right? Only did three damage. Even only did three chips. damage. Only did three damage. Yeah, Duke's... Duke Speed, you talk about... I was actually just about to talk about that myself. The asteroid placement was very interesting. Devin, you were talking about that. Garrett so said he put the asteroids there just to get them out of the way. Yeah, I he, think in this situation, what he's that's done... That's a bad call. He created a no-fly zone for himself, mm -hmm. and he left the entire center of the board open. Against a swarm, you don't want to give them open space. Exactly. So, yeah, someone in chat just said he loses on asteroid placement, and that's almost... That's, that's very true. Garrett wanted the asteroids out of the way. He wanted them clumped up. He just didn't want to deal with them. And against a swarm like this, you really want to push those asteroids all together, all onto Christian's side, yeah. and and fly away, like set up for a joust, and then fly away from him, force him to come through the asteroids. So right with, there, he's blocked the one straight. Yeah, he's blocked. Now you can see him try to block a two Christian, forward. Christian's going to block everything. Here's 5K, the, the cruise guy. Like, it's a very slow-moving, very crunchy very uh, it's a, it's a, it's almost a demure swarm you don't really realize yeah that there's two sets of unguided rockets which are three and three for mods yeah. Yeah. there's two sets of auto blaster turrets there's one five dice cruise missile if you set it up properly there's two tacticians there's like partridge christian christian what are you stuff. doing buddy is he making a mess no nah, he's making a mess suspend him right he didn't so. do what was on his dial yeah, oh. he, he he dialed it in, then he changed it, and he forgot, and uh, okay. that's that's. So, so the opponent gets to pick the maneuver at that point, or is that what happened? Or uh, I'm not sure. Because he put a stress on the ship. Oh, oh, that ship was stressed. Yeah, and then he did a, a five forward, a five k, and did which a white two forward. Do which is a white maneuver, yeah. hence the stress, and it goes two forward because he gets oh, the stress. Oh, drat. Uh, I I don't like that positioning on the op spec bomber. He does get a token. But he's going to be able to be shot by quick draw. That's right? true. He's leaving like if he'd five k that ship or or that actually that'd be difficult because he'd be, be bumped by quick draw. But maybe three banked out the other way. Uh, no, I think maybe he's okay with this setup because if the op spec bomber dies, he's going to get auto blaster turrets potentially. He's got unguided rockets two sets. Maybe he's okay with this with this exchange. It's got un, it's got no mods. His target lock is on a different ship. So, I mean, who knows? with Omega Leader there, tokenless, a tokenless Omega Leader, it's going to be tough. I expected him to get, uh, Omega Leader to get bumped. Omega Leader's probably going to get out. Now Garrett's going to go wide with Omega Leader. Yeah. yeah. Go. Good call. I might have gone three bank with her, but there you go. Oh, 4K. Interesting. 
Oh, I don't know if that's the right move. That's interesting. That's aggressive. Luckily, not gonna get penalized. You know what? For almost, it, almost guaranteed not to be blocked though. Mm-hmm. And not gonna be penalized for it because I think there's hard no. two from Omega Leader. Okay, so, um, so sorry from uh, Quick Draw Omega Leader. I really so then Omega Leader's maneuver there is completely to open up space for the hard two for Quick Draw. Yeah, absolutely. To that get makes a, more sense. Yeah. A three bank would have done the same thing, allowing you to get your evade token back as well. Or a five straight. Or a, a three sloop. Yeah, yeah. But that might have been blocked. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. But he's going to be able to kill at least the op spec shuttle and maybe another ship. But he's taking auto blaster. He's taking unguided rockets. Yeah. And two, a quick draw is going to take a stack of damage this round. Absolutely. He's only going to get his ability off once. 100% Christian is going to be able to do more than three damage to Quick Draw this round. Yeah, I think he strips his ability this turn. Quick Draw can't shoot homing missiles. No. He's going to be... Harpoons. Sh- Sorry, he can't shoot harpoons. It's going to be really, really interesting to see how he tries to reposition. At least a sloop would have put him in the position where he could harpoon something. Oh, you you wanted to see a sloop from Quick Draw, right? Yeah. Sloop to the right. Sloop, harpoon, and then brawl. Whereas now he's... I think he's at range one of he's, everything with a sloop. His target lock was on a ship. You remember his target lock's only on one ship that has one hull left. Um, would you use a harpoon? I think oh, no, slooping, he, he slooping he would have been right in front of Omega Leader. Yeah, exactly. What's that? It's a Garrett was coming, his head was coming oh, to the right. I'm oh. Like, oh, we got the whole thing backwards? <laughs> no, no, no. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. So I'm I'm really excited to see what he decides to Ooh, do here. Roll. I mean, that's the right call. Gets him out of auto blaster, maybe. I don't think so. Because he barrel rolled from back to back. That's definitely still an auto blaster. Oh, range. Garrett. It might get him out of unguided rockets, though. And it might get him out of number three's arc. So he's only taking th- two shots, three shots instead of four shots. He did. Is my thought there? Yeah, that's probably what he's going for, then, I think. And he's also get, lighting up a nice range one. So then, do you. Oh, I see exactly. He wanted a range one on the op spec bomber, it looks like. I mean, sure. Uh, the, uh, they'll be able to. Ship. They'll be able to power them down. Or maybe he's setting up for a sloop next turn to get that uh, harpoon off. Oh God, That's Omega nice. Leader. Or quick draw, quick draw with target lock. He's shooting at five. Yeah, which is where his target lock probably is. So an evade, Christian evades it entirely. Loses oh, no damage. brutal. So, the barrel roll is a good idea. It gets him out of more arcs. He lo- he gets out of the the. Number three's arc, but number three is the Opspec Bomber on one health that he could have, if he'd taken a focus, shot and killed. Mm. Right? The barrel, barrel rolling out of arc is great, but he's barrel rolling out of arc of a ship that he could have PS killed. Right. Right? He's not dodged any arcs that he can't get out of. Yeah. Christian taking one damage and on. still enough to finish that bomber. They're not Omega point. Leader, yeah, Omega Leader takes it off. Yeah. Okay, so there's Opspec done, done with. Luckily for Christian, literally every ship other than the op spec one has a focus token. No, number... Oh, he's going to he's gonna get harpoons. Oh, because he pulled it off before. We had... Uh, Travis, did we get the numbers on the wrong ships? So we have a question in chat, Sumit. Is Christian's list a good one? Christian's list... Is a unique one. Christian's list is one of those lists where if you didn't build it yourself... If you didn't workshop it yourself, or you haven't flown it 30 sorry, times sorry, yourself, it sucks. Yeah. If you, however, built it yourself, have workshopped it multiple times, and know how to fly it, it's terrifying. I have been on the receiving end of each iteration of Rush Hour, and each iteration I got curb stomped. Christian's one of those players in our meta. It's he a never, list It's a list need flies, reps. He never flies what's meta, but he always comes with stuff that he just makes you look silly. He's a phenomenal player. As somebody had asked earlier on, they didn't know because of skill level. Christian is a phenomenal player. Yeah. He's also not so bad at Armada, I guess. So, yeah, he's the – so Christian is the uh, Canadian Armada national champion, a former Canadian Armada national champion. Uh, Armada, I'm saying that really weird. But this list is something he's come up with and something that he's got a lot of reps in. And so if you're a new player, then 
it might not be something you want to jump into. It's also a very expensive. I was going to say, if you're a new player, Rush Hour is one of the most expensive lists you can make. It's almost. I think it's almost six hundred Canadian or seven hundred dollars Canadian to, to what, buy it all. American? Oh, it's brutal. But it's and Christian's a swarm player. I'm a swarm player. It's a really tough list to run into, and if you're not prepared for it, it's going to catch you off guard, and it's going to make you pay for your mistakes. Yeah, and, and the mouse and DK, sorry, it is quite an outlier list, and that's actually what it is. Uh, a lot of the times, people people see it, and they look at it, like, what's this, bombers? Are you kidding me? I'm going to I'm gonna dance around you. And then they're like, oh, oh, this is what your list does. So, yeah, it, it does catch people by surprise. Uh, but, again, let's not take away anything from his skill level. It, it, he's a phenomenal player, too. So that goes along with it. And he was talking about he wanted to come into the middle of the board. He wanted to control the middle of the board. He wanted to control the engagement. Yeah. And Garrett was like, well, I'm going to joust him and, yeah. and see how it goes and try and delete stuff and rely on harpoons. But back up a couple of comments. Yeah. Garrett's saying he didn't want to joust, but that's why it might where it go. As we're talking about turn zero, based on the rock formation, that was the only option left now. Right. Because he set up such an open space by, by clustering those three rocks. And here's a, maybe you can say this better than I can, Devin, as a yeah. long-time Swarm player, but I'll just say it. You correct me if I'm wrong. But newer players or players who don't have a lot of experience, because maybe if you've only come in from the most recent waves, you probably don't have a lot of experience against Swarms. When you see Swarms, you want rocks everywhere. You, know you don't want to give them lanes and positions for them to move bases well. You don't want to leave anywhere exactly. that has a two or a three gap between them for range. This rock layout is a gift for Christian yeah. and correct me if I'm wrong this is the layout that you used to use when you used to take down Dengaru back in the way it's, it's, days it's, it's similar it's yeah. similar uh, and for me really now, who is that on? one of the bombers I'm sure bomber 4 it looks like mm. here Garrett has a quick draw an alpha strike quick draw mm -hmm. who's not who has lost who doesn't have lightweight frames so that he can have guidance chips yep. and hasn't shot his harpoon missiles. Yep. And he's not in a position where he's going to be able to shoot his harpoon missiles yep. unless he sloops. If he sloops, he's not going to have a focus. And then he's going to get double stressed. And he's and, and Christian's going to light him up with the tacticians. Right? So it's, it's really... Uh, yeah. Raven Mask, you ask any question anytime you want. That's what we're here for. We love to yeah. see new players come into this amazing game. And if anything doesn't make sense, interaction, please just throw them into the chat. Any, and that's not just that's for anybody. We'll try our best to answer them for you. In case we get it wrong, somebody smarter than us in the chat will uh, we'll straighten us out. But yeah, and, we, that's and, what we try to do. We try to and so I'm it. surprised that Quickdraw didn't lose all of his shields. He's going to get one more kick at that can for Quickdraw's ability. But he's in such a rough position right now. I'd be... Yeah, your only options are a sloop or a K, well, which a 4K puts think, you very close to the board. Think of the greens on Omega Leader and where Christian's bombers are going to be. Yeah, he's going to block Omega Leader for sure. She's Omega Leader's going to be... And one to two banks, I think, only. I think Omega Leader is going to eat two auto blaster shots next round. I think Quick Draw is going to sloop and try and harpoon something, mm -hmm. but really that's coming. He's he's on his back feet right now. He's He's, he's got a little bit of a... A hill to come up in terms of getting back in this game. It's going to be rough for him. And Christian's a great player. Garrett's a good player. So, you know, we're. It's just. Garrett gave not just the initiative, but gave power in the game to Christian by the rock setup. Because of the way he set up the rocks, he had to joust. Yeah, I don't think it can be understated. The rock setup was really critical to Christian's success thus far. Because we got to step back. Garrett's list is amazing. It's a very yeah, I like a this massive list. Massive punch you in the face for eight dice on the first turn that you can't miss. List. Uh, I bet but he's kicking was... himself. Well, this is interesting from Christian the five k. Yeah. And like I said with the bomber, you always have to think about where the five k is going to take you and how yeah. useful that's going to be. Yeah. With that's his op spec bomber, by the way. We, uh, we had to walk it back a little bit. We were getting a little bit. This is one of the jokes we have here on the studio space that, Christian, we love having him oh, on really? stream, but he's impossible to stream because his lists have so many ships and they all look the same. Oh. Yeah. So that's, he killed the crews. Yes. So his op spec bomber still... So Garrett so was intelligently Garrett, trying to knock the cruise missile out no, before No, that was fired. not intelligent. The, the op spec bomber is 100% what should be targeted but right away. As we're going to walk it back, if you've never come across this list before, not everybody, almost nobody runs operation specialists. So... 
no, you don't really realize how good it is. It's a three-point upgrade. You don't really understand. It's got a lot of printed text on the cards. It's got a lot of range yeah. one to two, one to three. It doesn't really make sense. It's intimidating for a new player to see that card. Not even a new player, a player who hasn't seen that card that often. Absolutely. It, I don't even know where it does have the time, and I've seen it 20 times, right? Look so, at look at this. Look what so yeah. So quick draws pilot skill nine. Yeah. Right? So look at how the <coughs> aggressors have been set up. To completely block all of the greens mm -hmm. except for a three forward from Omega Leader. Which still gives him an auto blaster shot. Two and, auto and the, blaster and the shots. three forward gives him two auto blaster shots. One if he barrel rolls to the board left. Yeah. Right? Now, as a question, do you think maybe a target lock might have been a good idea on one of them? So when off no. spec misses, he could have a target lock focus with Ah, uh, No, because he isn't going to be getting a lot of shots this round to do that with. Okay. Right. Did that not bump either? That did bump, yes. Okay. Oh, PTL crit tokens there. <laughs> oh, in chat they're talking about Arizona weather. We don't have Arizona weather here. It's minus 33 here, Arizona. We have one more person at their regionals. One more person, all right. Hi to Ian Hamp and uh, the Arizona crew. Hopefully everything's going well down there. Shouts out to you guys. Oh, look at that. Bump on a mega leader. Oh man, we're getting a question in chat to meet about uh, what are your thoughts on the Thai silencer? Audrey, I absolutely adore it. Oh, there it you go. Doesn't necessarily mean I think it's good. I mean, it is I a think, joy to fly. It is a joy to fly. I think it's Imperial's first and only current points fortress. Uh, I think it reminds me of why I fell in love with the game with advanced sensors auto uh, PTL. Uh, and I also think that it, right now, from my only limited reps with it, I haven't found out how to be really good with it yet. But now, in the hands of a true ace player. It's incredibly intimidating. It's, now, it's beautiful. The champ, yep. the hair, yep. our Lord and Savior Fung, yep. is flying Kylo Ren today with uh, Palp Shuttle and uh, Omega Leader. So that if, I love. if he does well, that I love. Then, then maybe we'll see him on, on stream. So I love that. I love that. I, I'm going to steal all of his lists. Great positioning. He, basically, what he does is he fills the one hole in Kylo's ability is the guaranteed evade. Yeah. And that's exactly what, all the, what, the, what Palp does. Yeah. Anyways. I love the ship. I think it's awesome. We've I got. Think, we've, I think we've, the model is too big compared to the movie, though. I don't know personally. And it's really oh, this is interesting. Garrett is just loving the barrel rolls, and I just don't know if that's the right choice. He, you know what? He's correctly evading arcs and deciding to maintain what the ship's arc. Ability. What arc did he get out of? He, he got out of an he, auto blaster. He no. He I, I don't think he got out of uh, auto blaster range. He did. Uh, we'll we'll see. But either way... Either way, I'm not... You know what? If I'm Christian, I'm taking both those auto blaster shots on Omega Leader. Absolutely. That's enough to kill her. If a I dead... can kill Omega Leader, no thank you. She has no target lock. She has no evade token. This is so no chat's wondering about Omega Leader. He did move Omega Leader. Omega Leader got bumped because okay. Christian bumped, put all of his ships in the right place. Raven Mask, correct. Uh, Omega Leader, uh, she comes in the Thai FO standalone expansion. Yeah. Also, uh, that's the, the, also uh, the Juke expansion. The, the, the Omega Leader expansion. Because it comes with Juke and Comrade. Oh, brutal. Christian takes damage on... One of his many ships. Thanks for shouting, uh, pointing at your ships, guys. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So Devin's just stepped off to give Christian some flack about not identifying which of his thousand ships is getting shot at. We see a three dice attack coming out. That looks like Omega Leader's range one onto. The, there we go. Onto the auto. Onto the auto blaster aggressor. That looks like nothing. So he's gonna spend the focus. Okay. So yeah. Because he figures auto blaster turret, what he gets is what he gets, and every ship alive is in his favor. He takes a hit and a crit. You, you tell him to say what the crit is up loud so they can hear him on the microphone next time. It's fine now. He's supposed to. It's but fine. They're, they got a lot to worry about when they play the games. You know, Garrett's grinding it out. He's getting a lot of damage yeah. onto Christian's ships. Look at all that damage. It's just unfortunately spread out a lot. Another structural damage. He loves he loves pulling those crits today. That's the second one. Or a range three on Omega Leader from, uh, from yeah, the op spec shuttle. Trigger the op spec on the. Two okay. hits. Wow. Interesting. I wonder if damage goes through here. Well, looks like damage yes. Damage goes through here. Okay. I think I think Christian was actually hoping for. Wait. Oh, it was one hit. One hit. One eye. Like one hit. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is why this is why Christian spent the evade token on defense, the focus token on events to mitigate damage. He assumed he would get the focus from a, the range Correct. three on Omega Correct. Leader. He didn't think he'd hit. So he's playing the averages and it's playing in his favor again. Running, running an op spec based list is, is all about averages and understanding math and stuff like that. You have to know how to prioritize your target. Another damage on, uh, oh, proccing the ability. So he shot like at 
quick draw? Maybe he wants to strip ability. Yeah, it's quick draw's last shield. He gets to shoot. Interesting, interesting. I don't. It's not what I would have done, I guess. But uh, he could have shot. Did he not shoot unguided rockets? He just rolled two dice. Hmm. Auto blaster on. Oh, so he's at range one. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, Draven Mass. That's. I mean, at the end of the day, they're you know FFGs. Is, they're, so they're, he's he's lamenting that uh, Omega Leader Sorry. and Juke is in the uh, I was gonna get the to blister. Oh, all right, all right. Give me a second. Okay. Um, they they are a company that they are wanting to and allowed to make money, and unfortunately, sometimes some of the good upgrades come in the standalone blisters. They're thankfully, uh, to, if you've talked to any 4K players, they're thankfully. A lot better about it than a lot of other companies are. So, but it is sometimes unfortunate. And the points at the top of the screen are points destroyed. Christian has killed thirty-six points of Garrett's list. Garrett has killed nineteen points of Christian's list. Uh, and you can see the asterisk next to Christian. That means that he has uh, initiative in this game, and that means that his ships were there any pilot skill uh, overlaps that he would move first and shoot first. So, so oh, sorry, yeah, we're having, I told them to point at ships that are shooting now, so they're nicely doing that for us. Oh, quick draw takes two. And automatic two, because that's from Auto Blaster. Oh, man. Oh. And, I, um, <sighs> it looks like one of the tacticians is gone. Yeah. Actually, both tacticians are gone. They're off the table now. No. Oh, well, the op spec shuttle has a tactician. That makes yeah. sense. Okay. Yes, the op operation specialist shuttle has tactician. And I imagine we'll see... A three forward green or a three bank from the operation specialist shuttle just to, to heck just to or a two bank yeah. just to bump Omega Leader again or to get in there and brawl. The two auto blasters surviving is just going to be really, really tough. Mm -hmm. Right? Because Quick Draw's got one hit. Yeah. That Sinar one is gonna be able to follow him pretty, pretty closely. And uh they need, to, they need to clear that crit token by number four. Don't forget how awesome the sign our, the sign our specialist is. He's got a hard three to the left focus token, hard three to the left with the other one focus token. One's I'm, got auto blaster, one's got unguided rockets. I'm expecting uh, number two to do a hard two number or uh, a hard two barrel roll, number one to do a four forward, something like that. And, uh, you know, uh, Garrett's in a rough place. Uh, Omega Leader, I think you and I both would have shot at Omega Leader. Yeah. But seeing Quick Draw go down... Well, I mean, look at how much damage you did quick draw in that round. So, obviously, Christian knew better than we did that. Three point, damage. I guess we're just both used to running Omega Leader for a while. We know that when you leave her on the game, she can just... If you let her get her tokens back, she becomes impossible to deal with. That's my concern right here, yeah. is that maybe... Uh, well, the signer has got weapons disabled, maybe, or, or uh, structural damage. So, the crit token is on number one. Uh, number four is dead, Travis, if we can... Uh, okay, yeah. We'll... Uh, so we'll see them. Oh, I just didn't hit transition. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, it's great. So Travis is our producer here. You can uh, hear him sometimes behind the scenes. And uh, everything you see here on screen is bespoke made by him. And we are very lucky to have someone like Travis here in our community willing to put in the time and the effort to make something like this happen pretty much out of the... Not pretty much. Entirely out of the goodness Entirely of his heart. out of the goodness of his heart. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, Garrett's not in a great place right now. It'll be really interesting... Quick draw has to turn, right? And and Christian can put both of his aggressors. Oh, one bank, interesting. Uh, it's not because you know what he's covering. He's covering both angles. Yeah. He's gonna attempt a barrel roll. It looks like. Oh, interesting. Yeah. It's not gonna fit. And he's just gonna. Oh, he's gonna check with the. Okay, so for newer players, if you're curious as to why Christian is using a two template to check for the barrel roll, uh, as we know, or if you don't know. The, your base ship is the size of a range one. So, it, oh, sorry, not range one, one forward. And one forward. Yeah. So, if a two template fits, you know your ship will fit. And you can do that without having to move your ship. It's just a shorthand that some experienced players do. You should always ask your opponent if that's okay before you do it, though. Correct. And so, this is really interesting. If you're behind a ship, generally you can always shoot it, right? That's if also you, a good If you tip. put yourself where the ship was, yeah. you can always shoot it. And this is going to be very interesting uh, to see. Because he's now relying on the Operation Specialist shuttle to come in and generate the focus yes. for that aggressor to generate the focus for Auto Blaster and 
unguided rockets. But to be fair, that's what it does. He's going to go three forward, clog up the middle, maybe block Omega Leader again. Three forward? No, hard shot. three here. You were saying hard three. No, I was talking about the uh, ops operation, the op operation specialist shuttle. Yeah. As you were saying, he's probably going to go two to three forward, take the rate, because he, he wants to be able to get a range three shot. So here, so faster. Christian's yeah. blocking a quick draw to the left. Yeah. And if quick draw goes right, then he's, oh, no, he's bumped. He's bumpy bumping. Oh, he's oh, I bumped. thought the hard three cleared. My bad. I gotta get back. I gotta get well, they're medicine. they're uh, they're down there and they're saying it doesn't clear. So there you go. Oh, interesting. That that makes things better for Garrett. Much better. But uh, he's still gonna be able to auto not auto blaster unguided rockets. Probably yeah, both of those ships. Yet. Well, they haven't decided. They're marking they're both the ships. Angle, they're eyeballing it. Okay. It's gonna bump. Now they're gonna try to do it more precise. Okay. Yeah. It's close enough that it's worth doing it properly. And sometimes yeah. Yeah. when it matters, again, players, when it matters for you. Don't feel afraid to say we need to measure this properly and take your time. Don't push stuff mm -hmm. around. Try your best to be clean because, you know, you want the game to be as good as it can. I think that clears. I think it clears too. That should clear. That's 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 rough for uh, for for Garrett if it clears. Except blocks all of Quick Draw's exits to the left. Yeah, that and if he goes if he goes right, I thought he it cleared. Can, he can't go far enough right. Yeah. To to really make a big difference in uh, in getting away from those auto blasters or those rockets. So we'll we'll have to see. Because well, he he's a, the he one hard thread. Yeah. yeah, so he does a two left. He's still getting an auto blaster. He's got a barrel roll back towards us down board, right, to get out of auto blaster of, of number one. And uh, if he does that, he's also now shooting without without tokens, and you don't want to be tokenless. There's the green move from the bomber looking to block Omega Leader, blocking that two forward. Yeah. You know, he's going to punish... Uh, He's going to punish any of the hard maneuvers yeah. with an auto blaster turret shot. Duke Speed, you actually hit on a really, really, really valid point. I mean, I there were some there were some times when I was kind of like slightly fatigued with it as well. And the community is a phenomenal community, and it's, it's why I stuck around. He was mentioning how yeah, the there's community a, for him is a large part of the reason why a lot of the more uh, mature and fun and calm players stick around to this game. The chat's having a great discussion about yeah. the community, and and absolutely, I'm the same way. Community is everything for us. Like the, the PCL community oh. is like ninety percent of the reason why I did beautiful. Movie. That's that's terrible for Garrett. I'm I'm really that's yeah. See, so he's actionless. Super he's at bro. range one. He's been very aggressive with Omega Leader, but as a result, Omega Leader is just tokenless all the time, and that's just really rough. Yeah, you really. When I first started flying her too, I tried doing sloops and stuff like that, and then. When you get a bit more reps with her, you realize she needs she needs her actions. Yeah. If you ever have to spend that, I just log out and repull it. How are you getting the target lock, Garrett? Okay, good. Yeah, stress, stress. That's that a boy. Playtesters, people, playtesters. Hmm. They're the best players. That's that's my one dig at you, Garrett. Don't worry about it. All right. So. Oh, he's a play tester. <laughs> awesome. Oh wait. Oh, oh I love that. This. I love that. Oh wow, that's not on the rock. No, it's not. Beautiful, oh. beautiful uh, range control. He has to kill number two. But now he has to barrel roll again. He has to kill number two. Can he kill number two? I, th I, I, no. I don't think that that was a good not without a, a target lock. Good on maneuver. Him, not out of the rear shot. I did he? Oh man, I, I this is ah uh, Garrett. He's just trying to take something down. But number one. He's spending his target lock. So this is quick draw, shooting at the wounded Sinar. No, he shot at number one. But he used he used the reroll. Oh, okay. so that was the one that had the damage number he number killed. one was the damaged Sinar. So the damage was around on those guys. Uh, was it? Yeah. Yes. Again, apologies, chat. This is really difficult to keep track of because there's you know even with numbers on them they all look the exact same. Christian's got to start painting his ships. Because number one had the crit token on it, Travis. Which makes sense. That's why he fired at it because he had a target lock, so he could mod it. So he basically potentially sacrificed his quick draw. Not sacrifice, but gave up his traded his quick draw to wipe one ship off the board. Yeah. Well, he's got a 50-50 chance of dying if he lives through the next round. And he's got if a. He lives through this round, yeah. Which I don't think. Oh. Did he just do two hits in a crit natty on Omega Leader? Yep. On tokenless. Yep. Oof, uh, yep. Oh, she's dead. Boom. She's gone. Got bye bye. Oof. And that's why Omega Leader needs tokens, mm -hmm. folks. So um, now we've got the Sinar coming up. Sinar, we need to see if it's range one. Weapons failure. 
I mean... Oh, she's not dead? Structural damage? If Omega Leader's still alive, then the, she still had her shield left, man. Unless one of those was an evade result. It's hard to tell. No, there's no evades there. Well, then she should be dead, then. She went into that round. Well, I, she must have still had the shield. She must have had her shield. Well, then she They've should got, be dead. So, Garrett's... Oh, I, I may have missed the token. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and you can see here, Garrett's using uh, a crit token given to him by Ian Hamp, uh, which is the uh, everything's fine dog in the burning house. Mm -hmm. And, oh, there goes one hit from the auto blaster. Statistically, Christian rolled average. He did not get the focus for the miss, but quick draw is gone. Omega Leader needs to do a green now. Omega Leader needs to start. It needs Omega Leader needs to not be shot for three rounds. He needs to go and she get... Needs a, she needs a evade back, she needs a target lock on something, and then she needs to get in behind one of the ships. Yeah. However, unfortunately, Christian's going to do a hard two with the, with the Cyanar, pull a focus token. Well, actually, no, a hard one focus token. Uh, and then a hard two probably with the bomber to block her two forward green. Yes. I mean, a hard... She has to do the bank. Yeah. Or the hard two... Hard two to ship right. It's not green on a TIFO. Yes, it is. Is it? Hard two screen oh, on that. It's been foes. a while since I flown one. Sorry. All right. Yeah. All right. They've it's got an intercept. They got an interceptor dial. They got an interceptor dial. So, an interceptor. yes, they have an interceptor dial. They got an interceptor dial with sloops. It's they beautiful. Don't have hard ones. Yeah, they do. Okay. Fos have hard ones. Uh, I mean, I'm in, in chat. chat, in chat, they're saying uh, two bank. They're agreeing with you, Samit. Chat agrees with you that the two bank is the only option, but. Uh, I think a hard two left, a hard two right, sorry, is the right move to sort of, he wants to get out of the game for a while, come back around, and kill the Sinar Specialist. Absolutely. That's going to be the easiest thing to do. Oh, 5k from Christian here is a beauty of a move. He gets all of Quick Draw's maneuvers. All of Quick Draw's green maneuvers Absolutely. are now in his, or Omega Leader's maneuvers are in his arc. Mm -hmm. So that's great. And the too hard from uh, exactly what you said what was going to happen. The oh, too hard right. from the aggressor. My apologies. You're right. It is hard to green. I know how it's TIE been, Fighters fly. It's been a while since I've flown. And now Christian's barrel rolling to, to block to, to get in there. Not necessarily he's to block. Set up an, he's trying to set up an auto blaster shot. You're he's, right. He, Omega Leader does not have a target lock on anyone. He doesn't have an evade anywhere. Oh, the worst part is right? that, yeah. Oh, we wonder what will happen, too. With the so he's bank. doing a green... Is it too bank, too hard? I can't really see there. We'll find out in a second. Too straight. Oh, too straight. That I means he can just... I don't know what he's going to do here. Barrel does not get you out of range one. So Christian... Uh, oh, no, the, it will. The op spec bomber is stressed, so he's going to shoot. He's probably going to miss. Generate right? a focus token for the... Generate a focus token for the aggressor who's going to delete Omega Leader this round. No, because the barrel roll back and back will get it out of range one. So get it out of auto blaster range. I don't, th I don't think it will. You don't think? No. I'm fairly certain it does. That's a, that's a dead Omega Leader. It's I think dead. the only I think the only option is a barrel roll from the back to the front of the ship, hoping it gets you out of range one of that auto blaster. Because you can't just hope that Christian whiffs. And I'm and uh, not forward, not forward, not forward, not forward. He's still in range one. I, he's, yeah, I, he's in range one. I, th I think he's still in range one. I on one hull, like it's just. But in, but in same respect, staying there wasn't an option either. The evade token does nothing for him. He Christian fires with with the bomber, generates a focus, and then he's got focus for the auto blaster. Statistically, he does one damage and kills the Leader. Like it's. That's range. Was it range two? I missed it because Christian's hand was in the way. His big meaty hand. One hit from Christian, shooting from the operation specialist bomber. It's evaded. He's generating a focus yep. for the aggressor. We we'll check it. Let's check if that's range one. Oh, that! Look how close that is. Ooh. Are you gonna roll the dice? He's already bumped it. Because Christian's saying because he bumped it, he's not going to be able to do it, and that's that's fair. I feel that's like if you, move you know it, what? You that's a gentlemanly it. thing yeah. to do. Uh, so Raven Mask, is it even worth it if you have an interceptor already already to buy Imperial Aces expansion? Absolutely, opinion, absolutely, absolutely. Two words, Carnor Jacks. Yeah. I mean, Royal Guard tie, and Royal Guard tie is great. Push the limit is great. Carnor Jacks. Uh, yeah. Full stop. It, you know what, Dukesby, you got the exact same point. Just just resign yourself, Raven Mass, to understand that you're just going to end up with one of everything if you actually like this game. 
Besides, the, inter- the red interceptor is the most gorgeous thing ever. Oh, it's beautiful. And then oh. you can run it with the red dis- the red uh, defender. Defender. Oh. Then I just paint the all your ships red. I love it's fine. so much. Now all the, the pointy stabby goodness. Oh, I love interceptors so much. I mean, this. I'm gonna paint my uh, Kylo scepter red, so it's so they're all. Red. This went better than Garrett could have hoped. Yes. I mean, he's, he's still alive. alive. Uh, I just the the bomber is probably gonna do a two bank. Yeah. And uh, uh, 4K from the aggressor. It's just I don't think that in 10 minutes Omega Leader can kill. 42 points of of Christian stuff. Yeah. Like, he has to get something off the board, and that something has to be the Sinar Specialist. But now the Sinar Specialist is behind the bomber, and he it's going to be difficult for him to get in there. Let's, let's, we're going to wait and see. He did, he did the two bank to clear that stress. Uh, I don't know where Garrett's going right now. Hard one to the right in barrel, hopefully. Get Remember, out of both the arcs. He's got to run. He's got weapons failure, I believe, on Omega Leader. So, a barrel roll. Beautiful call from Christian. So he's moving his bomber up there. Because Omega Leader has to go fast, the TIE Fighters have to go fast, he's getting it in arc. She could have hard one ship right, barrel rolled out of both arcs. Oh, Oh, that's not the right direction I would have gone. Uh, Hard. If he'd done a hard two, could have barrel rolled back. Uh, this is going to be very... He, now he's going to be stressed going into the next round. Mm-hmm. No matter what, if Christian hits or misses, because Tactician is going to be shooting him in round t- in range two, mm-hmm. he's going to he's gonna be stressed. That really limits the uh, the speed at which he can get away, limits him to the green maneuvers. Mm-hmm. So, oh, man. And if he pushes a damage through, Garrett has to evade right now. He has to spend an evade token or, or, yes. or do an evade action. He can't barrel roll away to the right. Do we remember what the crit was on uh, Omega Leader? Uh, I think it's weapon stealer. I think he's down to one attack die. Oh, so, case, I, oh, you know what? I am I am gonna go check on okay. that. Is it weapon stealer on? Uh, you know? He has both structural damage and weapon failure. Structural. On Omega Leader, both? Oh, no, sorry, he only has structural damage. Okay, so, structural Oof. damage. Structural so damage on Mega Leader, so he's only rolling two evade die. That so it's structural damage. Oh my gosh. All right, Omega Leader. Agreed, David Grohl. He has had it. She has had it now. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, he's actually turned his crit down. Nice. Is okay. That well, instead of the evade token, I guess he'd rather have three of three evade die. I don't agree with that call because Christian statistically will be rolling one hit with the bomber, two dice, a range two. He should be fine if he takes the evade token, right? Mm-hmm. He's got a sixty-six percent chance of uh, generating an evade by himself. Well, there you go. You've just got natties. You just rolled natties, and then we've got not game. natties. So game, game over. GG Garrett, that was a, a great, uh, good try. Again. And had it gone just a little bit better on the joust, if he'd gotten that har- second harpoon off, maybe he would have been able to uh, to actually delete an extra an extra tie or work around some of those. And he just kept making weird maneuvers with Omega Leader that that's kept him from being a. Uh, Kept him from getting all those actions she needs to yeah, live she, and to, she, to control she, your opponent. She absolutely cannot have action, no actions. If if you if you've had a bad go of it and you've had to spend her target lock, fine. Then you got to get it back. You do a maneuver which puts you in no arcs and you pull the target lock defensively, or you focus. And then if you spend your evade token, you do everything you can to get her out of harm's way, get that evade back up, and then get her back in. She shouldn't be slooping almost ever. One of the things I've seen a lot of better players than me do when they play Omega Leader is they don't care about her getting arcs. She's there for control. She's there for grief. The longer she's alive, the later into the game that she's alive, the more deadly she becomes against yeah. ships that have one damage left, two damage left. You need to keep her token as often and as possible. Garrett gave the game to Christian when he let Christian determine how the rocks were going to be set up and how things were going to be happening. He really gave Christian a lot of control yeah. about how the game was going to happen. Yeah. And Positioning and engagement is so important to a absolutely. swarm. And when absolutely. And you give him the entire middle of the board against a swarm that actually punches, yeah. it's very, very, very tough. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It was still right. a well-fought match, and it was really interesting to see. And again, if you haven't seen uh, a rush hour type of list before, it, it's a bit wonky, and you don't really know how to address it. So, but it was All right, a well-fought we're gonna... match. We appreciate it.